हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम सूर्य सक्सेना असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन आईएमएस गाजियाबाद यूनिवर्सिटी कोर्सेज कैंपस टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द बेसिक ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑफ अ कंप्यूटर सिस्टम स्टार्टिंग विद द बेसिक ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑफ अ कंप्यूटर सिस्टम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल सी व्हाट अ कंप्यूटर मीन वी कैन से दैट अ कंप्यूटर इज एन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक डिवाइस व्हिच परफॉर्म अ नंबर ऑफ ऑपरेशंस or it is a combination of hardware and software uh, which is very fruitful in a number of ways to the human society a computer system is defined as a combination of components designed to process data and store files it processes data and makes it as information because we can say that data are the raw facts and figures and informations are the meaningful getting so this is the basic flow of a computer system that we gives input a computer or processor process the input or data and the data after the processing converted into meaningful data or meaningful information okay now we can see over here this is the basic organization of a computer system and it is a very important diagram uh, with respect to the basics of computer organization or computer system as we can see that we gives the program and data or any input through the through the input devices to this computer system then it comes to the memory part memory part is divided into two sections that is primary memory and secondary memory and processor this data they these are the bidirectional arrow so data can be traversed over here to here or here to here also cpu or processor which is divided into two sections that is alu arithmetic logical unit and control unit combinedly process the data and after processing this meaningful information is transferred to the output devices and through this output devices a user can see the output of their input data so this is the common uh, this is the common computer organization of a system these dotted lines are called as the control lines dotted lines indicates the controlled exercised by the control unit this control unit have the overall control on the organization on all of the components of a computer system as we can see dotted line as passes through the input devices also to the output devices also in the alu uh, in the cpu as it is well and with the memory unit also so control unit takes all over the control of the computer system so this is the basic organization of a computer system or the working model of any computer organization we can see further that there are five basic operations of a computer system as inputting which means to input the data to the computer system storing that means saving the data and instructions to make them readily available from initial or additional processing whenever is required so storing means to capture the data which comes through the input devices into the computer system and after storing what computer does computer does the main role that is the processing processing perform uh, various operation on the inputted data as various arithmetic or logical operations as divide multiply less than greater than etc etc so this is the main critical phase of any uh, computer organization that is known as processing after that data is come to the output devices for producing the result or we can say a user can interact with the output through these output devices we have also discussed about the controlling directing the manner and sequence in which all the above operations are performed means controlling that is implemented by the control unit of any compute or of any cpu so we can say that these are the five basic operations of any computer system that is input or inputting storing processing outputting and controlling input unit 
An input unit of a computer system performs the following operations or functions as it accepts the data or instruction from the outside world and convert these instruction and data in a computer acceptable form that is in the binary form because we know that a computer can only understand the binary language because it is an electronic device. It supplies the converted instruction and data to the computer system for further processing. What output unit does? It accepts the result produced by the computer as we have discussed earlier which are in coded form and hence means which are in the binary form and hence cannot be easily understood by us or user. So it converts these coded results to the human acceptable form, readable form or in analog form also. It supplies or output unit supplies the converted results to the outside world or to the user. The storage unit. The storage unit, what it does, data and instruction required for processing are kept over here and final result or intermediate results are also kept over here. There are two types of storage. One is primary section or primary memory or primary storage and another will be secondary. The main features of primary storage are you, these used to hold running a program or instructions or we can say that currently running program or instructions are kept in the primary memory or in RAM. Primary memory used to hold data, intermediate results and results of ongoing process. The, they are the fast in operation, small in capacity, expensive and volatile. Volatile means that data will be lost if the power supply has turned off. On the other hand, we have secondary memory. The main features of secondary memory are secondary memory used to hold stored program instruction, used to hold data information of, of a stored job, slower than primary memory, larger in capacity than primary memory, lot cheaper than primary storage, retains data even without power means they are the non-volatile type of memory. With respect to the CPU, CPU is divided into two sections that is ALU and CU. So, arithmetical logical unit and control unit combinedly makes the center processing unit and it is called the brain of a computer. It is the responsible for controlling the operations of all other units of a computer system. That's why we have discussed earlier that it is the more critical, most critical and most important component of any computer system. So what arithmetical logical unit does, arithmetical logical unit of a computer system is the place where the actual execution of the instruction take place during the processing operation or we can say that in this unit all arithmetical and logical operation like addition, subtraction, multiplication, less than, greater than, not equal to, equal to etc etc are all over performed over here. What control unit does? Control unit of a computer system manage and coordinates the operation of all other components of a computer system. So we can say that computer in computer organization control unit plays uh, as like a nervous system in any human body. So ALU and CU makes CPU. Okay, thank you.